Hello everyone, it's me ASMRF welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of editing that means the color grading and the post processing so with the skin retouch so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications i collected this photo from davian.com and provided the download link in my video description so at first go into the file and open up and downloaded this photo and hit the ok button and after that you are getting like this press ctrl or command j you are getting another copy of this layer so after that uh, at first we'll go to the camera filter and apply the preset which i made it for you guys and then we'll do other steps going to the filter and then going to the camera filter so after going there here is three dots and going to the load settings options from the xmp the forest girl i give in the name and load it up so you're getting the tone like that so what i've done over here let's see and then we'll do the other steps at first in the basic options i just made the temperature minus nine and all the steps is zero if you want you can get some contrast uh, uh, down some highlights it's totally up to you but uh, in my case i made it like this in a flat and the texture i made it uh, minus 10 because of if you give too much texture it will be like a uh, uh, little bit of uh, like noisy or like that and the texture minus 10 and here the vibrance vibrance i given that is the uh, minus 15 so vibrance is uh, that things if you made it too much it will be more vibrant but uh, i just made it a little bit down if you want you can make it a little bit up so it's totally up to you in a curve portion a curvature i use only the rgb curves and here the input value actually zero and output value 12 and input value 61 output value 50. input value that is uh, 123 and output value 112 and input value in this portion 164 output value 158 input value here 255 and output value 252 that's good and the detailed options i made the sharpening amount that is 55 and the radius 1.0 and detail 25 and masking i didn't use that i just made it zero and the noise reduction plus 42 and the noise color noise reduction 52 here is a simple things so i made it default that is 50 percent and here 50 and 50 percent after using the detail option going to the color mixture most important part of this tutorial just because of the hue saturation luminance if you want to control the color you have to know this panel properly so hue the color which color you want to use here it defines with the hue saturation the percentage of the color and the luminance intensity of the color in this hue portion red hue value that is 17 orange minus 1 yellow 0 and green minus 100 that's why all green just gone and here the aqua 0 the blue minus 5 and purple minus 8 and 60 plus 60 for the magenta saturation percentage of the color how percentage will be the color according to this belt that means the red or this value actually how much value you just given over here the saturation depend on the value the percentage of the color the reds plus 33 orange plus 7 and uh, greens minus uh, 100 and here the aqua that is 85 and the purple minus 100 and the magenta plus 23 and luminance only the yellow luminance i made it 25 because of the face and other stuffs it depends on the yellow color grading i didn't use that in this case actually and the optical I didn't use and uh, geometry effects I didn't use let's see the calibration used something the red primary minus 42 and the green primary plus 53 and the blue primary plus 8 and then hit ok don't worry I will provide you this XMP file for your users don't forget to give my credit line in your when you are using that ok that's good and after that uh, in this portion you are getting the face like that I want to make the face more smooth how to do that going to the filter and going to the neural filter so neural filter is a blessing thing in 2022 photoshop 2022 just because of this one is life-saving plugins when you want to make the skin a little bit smooth or more type of smooth which is really professional and here smooth is smooth, smooth thin like that after on turn on this button skin is smoothing you are getting the two uh, bar or uh, two 
control panel that is uh, uh, one is the blood and another one is smoothing so if you make this one it will be blurry so i don't want to do that i just made it like that and the smooth if you want you can make this one is smooth let's see the before and after the underside of the eyes and lips and the nose the uh, curvature just gone if you make like that okay and hit the okay button after using that you are getting another layer like that that's fine actually that's nice and now going to the filter again nick collection and color effects pro which is really most important part of this tutorial because of the filtering color filter is uh, we always uh, use that and i do love that to use that so from here basically the cross processing and lots of method over here uh, c01 c05 whichever do you like here are lots of variant and the version over there which one is preferable for you and which one really you do want to use in your photography it's totally up to you here the strength that is 17 i made already like that and hit the ok button so when you press the ok it will load it up and provide you the final output let's see the output how we look like okay the before one ordinary image and uh, that is nice and the after using the effects you are getting the extraordinary which is a li little bit dreamy and which is really cool and uh, the professional looks so that's all for today hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is when i'm signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye